Good morning, class family. It's a thankful Thursday. Let's look at our message together, show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Let's start with today's date. March 21st, 2024. Dear class family, today is Thursday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Next, we will look at the Lexia data and do literacy centers. Then, we will talk about poems and expand our vocabulary. Last, we will add details to our picture about the field trip. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, class family, let's look back and reread the message. Remember, that's what good readers do. They reread. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Let's look at the spelling of this month. I noticed a capital letter M A R C H. What does that say? I heard some of you. It does say March. Notice the capital letter M to start. Good writers and mathematicians begin each month of the year with a capital letter because it's special and important. They also capitalize the first letter of each day of the week. As we are rereading, notice all of the uppercase letters within our message and the punctuation marks. Okay, readers, let's read from top to bottom and left to right. March 21st, 2024, dear class family, Today is Thursday, it is Thursday, and it's a thankful Thursday. Notice the capital letter that starts that sentence and the period at the end. Good writers start sentences with capital letters and end with punctuation marks. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family, we do that each day. Working on being a portrait of a graduate. We're practicing being a great communicator and collaborator by speaking clearly with our mouths and listening with our ears. That's what good communicators do. All right, kindergartners, we're gonna go ahead and see the order of what we're doing this morning in language arts. First, next, first, next, then, and last. First, we'll learn letters and sounds. Okay, just like we do it every single day at school and kindergarten, we'll use so many resources to pump our brains with knowledge including our word wall with the foundations cards. We'll re review the letters, the sounds, pictures to match that word, American Sign Language. In addition to our word wall, we have our sound wall up in the classroom. We're using the program UFLY. So we'll learn how to shape our mouths for all the consonants and the vowels. In addition to that, we're going to use our My Alphabet book and go all the way from A to Z. And then we're going to shuffle around and do a mix up of the letters and sounds to see if you can do that and identify them. Okay, so next we will look at the Lexia data and do literacy centers. We will. We'll look at the Lexia Core 5 reading program data. We'll see how much time you've gotten this week. Have you met your goal? Did you get your time and unit goal? We're going to check on that. You're going to be getting some additional time on your iPad so you log on independently and pass more units. You're also going to get a chance to finish writing the room with those March words that we've been writing. After you have finished writing the March words, if you still have time, then you can write some of the CVC words down or the CVCE words down. Okay, so we have a lot of things to do today at school. And remember, when a teacher calls your name to listen the first time and go to that teacher as they work with you in a small group. Okay, then we will talk about poems and expand our vocabulary. Okay, so we're going to continue to immerse ourselves in poetry. And one of the poems that we're reading this week is called, I'm glad the sky is painted blue. I'm glad the sky is painted blue and the earth is painted green. With such a lot of nice fresh air, 
all sandwiched in between. The author of this poem is unknown. We're going to reread this poem. We're going to reread some other poems that we've enjoyed this year in kindergarten, as well as listening to some new books with poetry in it. And we are going to be sharing our thinking. And when we do that, we're going to use some sentence stems. This poem makes me feel. So we're going to go ahead and think about the feeling and use this sentence stem when answering the question. This poem makes me feel and share what it, how it makes you feel. Another um, sentence stem we're going to be using is this poem reminds me of. So we're going to be using these sentence stems to help focus our thinking as we are sharing about the poem, okay? Um, or actually poems. We have lots of poetry. So we're going to be going through a bunch of different things and using those stems and practicing sharing our thinking about the poems. Last, we will add details to our picture about the field trip during writing workshop. You're going to take out your writing journal, your alphabet chart, paper, pencil, crayons, all this stuff. You're going to go ahead. I'll have the word wall up and you're going to continue to add more details to your writing about the field trip. What a great day we had yesterday. It was so special. Okay, love Miss Joyner. Let's go ahead now at this time and do our T chart of yes or no answers. The question for today is, do you like yellow daffodils? Well, do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share your reason why. Do you like yellow daffodils?